So a project I've been working on lately is building a test bench for the studio. And this is what we're gonna use to test out different configurations and components. And I was putting the SSD in this guy and I thought it might be a cool idea to make a video about how to install an SSD. Now I know a lot of you might be asking, isn't installing an SSD very simple? Actually not quite. There's a lot of different motherboard configurations and different ways for the M2 to go in. You have these different coolers that go on top and there's even these risers that the M2 can go into as well. So I'm gonna use this Western Digital Black SN850X to show you how to install an M2 NVMe SSD. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start with this board right here. The M2 slot is located between the CPU and the PCIe connectors. So with the M2 slot, you have the connector right here, and then this is gonna be the riser at the screw, and this is already pre-installed on the board. On our drive, we have this little notch right here, and there's a notch in the connector as well. So that means there's only one way for this to connect. You wanna make sure that the notch on the drive is gonna to match to the notch on the connector. First thing you wanna do is take the M2 screw out of the riser. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy screwdriver and I'm going to remove the screw. Now the M2 screws are very tiny, so you wanna make sure you don't do what I just did. They're very easy to drop, they're very easy to lose. Fortunately, your motherboard or you know, your drive might actually come with some extra screws. Definitely hang on to these because like I said, they're very easy to lose. I'm gonna take this screw, set it aside. Now that the riser is uh, open, we're gonna take the drive. I'm gonna match up the notch and you wanna put this in at a little bit of an angle and it's just gonna slide right in and that's it. That's how you install the drive. There's actually a little bit more though. The drive is gonna hang at a 45 degree angle from the connector, and you can see you can just push it right down. And what we're gonna do is this notch is gonna match up to the riser, and we're gonna take the screw and we're gonna screw it right down. These M2 screws can be a little bit tricky, so I like to just kind of push it down, line it up, and you can see I've got the screw in the riser, and I'm just gonna screw that down. And that's it, you're all set. It's pretty easy to do, Installing this is very simple, and this is how you do it on this board when it's fully exposed. Now let's go look at another motherboard. So on this motherboard, we have an exposed M2 slot here. So you'd think that's where we're gonna put our drive. That's actually not gonna be it. Boards like this are gonna have a bunch of different M2 slots, so you can have a bunch of different M2 drives. You wanna install it under this heatsink right here because the main drive is always gonna go between the CPU and the first PCIe connector. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our screwdriver and we're gonna remove this heat sink. This pops right off and there's the main M2 connector. What I really like about this board is the risers have these Q latches, which are these little plastic latches that are gonna slide over the drive and keep it in place. This is way easier than using M2 screws. Installing the drive is very simple. Just line up the notches on the connector to the drive, slip the drive right in at a 45 degree angle. You're gonna see it hang there. Then you can just simply push it down, take the Q latch and push it over and you're all set. With the drive installed, you wanna take your heat sink and there's a thermal pad on the heat sink. You're gonna to wanna to take this little piece of plastic off so that way you can put the heat sink onto your NVMe M2 SSD and remove the heat away from that SSD. With the plastic film removed, now I just have to reinstall the heat sink. So I could just take the screws, line them back up. Screw them back into place. And you're all set. So now on this board, this also has a heat sink over the main M2 slot, and you can see there's other M2 slots as well. And then we have an M2 slot here, but this is not an SSD. This is actually gonna be the Wi-Fi card that's going into one of the uh, M2 slot connectors here. You can see the wires for the antenna running up, and this is gonna go to the IO plate here in the back where you can connect your uh, antenna. So it's actually very common to see other types of devices using these slots aside from just drives. Now, you can see on the heat sink, this is a pretty big heat sink, so this is gonna do probably a better job at removing heat from that drive. But you can see the latch for the PCIe slot is kind of in the way. So let's try to work around that and get the drive installed. First, I'm gonna remove the screws. 
And then I'm gonna pull this guy out and kind of at an angle. And there we go. So on this board, this one also has a latch on the riser. This one's a little bit different. This is one that just snaps right down. So we can just remove that adhesive. You can see that this pad is actually just a sticky pad. So this is gonna help keep the drive down in place. So again, you're gonna take your drive, you're gonna match up the notches to the connector, slide it right in. You're gonna push the drive down and then right here on this latch, push it down and you're all set. And then here on the heat sink, we have another thermal pad. So we can just take this adhesive off. You can take the heat sink and you're gonna place it right on top. You're gonna get at an angle so you can get it in place. Screw this guy back in and you're all set. Let's look at another board. We have a tiny board here and the M2 SSD is actually gonna go right under here. So first we're gonna take off this heat sink. And this is where our M2 SSD is gonna go. You can see the M2 connector is on this little device here and this actually pops out and this is a connector. So you can see that there's an M2 slot on either side. So this is a way to get small form factor boards like this where you can fit multiple NVMe SSDs. This is actually pretty cool. You can see there's a thermal pad underneath and then there's a thermal pad on top as well. So depending where you wanna put your SSD, thermally, you'll be all set. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this back into the connector. So you take your drive, you're gonna match up the notches and you're gonna slide it right in. So you can see there's a riser there and the drive goes right on top, but there's no M2 screw. That's because we're gonna use the heat sink plate here and this screw is gonna act as your M2 screw. So we're gonna hold the drive down. I'm gonna get this in place on top, line up the screw to the hole. And there you go. And now you're all set. This is a tiny board, by the way. I mean, just look at this thing. My hand is this big, the board is this big. Tiny drive, tiny board. So I think that about covers it on how to install this little guy into all of these different motherboards. Remember, you can stop by your local Micro Center and talk to one of our associates about your computer parts, or you can use our installation services from our service department. And if you made it this far in the video, make sure you comment hashtag, I want a Micro Center near me.